This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. It's so great to have you joining me here in these online lessons. This is lesson 15 in this mini course that's all about finger picking these chords. In this lesson, we're going to work on a finger picking pattern that's probably a little bit challenging. I designed it so that we could work the independence of the fingers. So it works on some of the different moves that we might have between our index, middle, and ring fingers, as well as the thumb. So you're going to go ahead and jump in on this one. So, the rhythm is all eighth notes, so we're back to all eighth notes with this lesson, but um, the fingers are going to be moving kind of independently, so it may take you a little bit to get this one down, but it's a really great pattern. The thumb is represented by the letter P. As a reminder, we're going to pluck the bass notes of the chord every time we have a P written above the value. So, in this particular lesson, we're working with the chords G, C, and D7. We've done this before, but for G, as a reminder, we'll be plucking that low 6th string with our thumb. For C, we'll be plucking the 5th string with our thumb. For D7, we pluck the open 4th string. So that's what we'll pluck with the thumb. Then M represents the middle finger. Every time we've got that middle finger, it's going to pluck the 2nd string. And then I for index, every time we got that I, it's going to pluck the third string. And then A for ring, every time we see that A, we're going to pluck the high string or the first string, regardless of what chord we're playing. So with this pattern, we start out with a thumb pluck, and I'm just going to demonstrate it with the E minor chord, as I usually do. We have thumb, middle, index, ring, middle, ring, index, middle, thumb, help to work just it in halves. So thumb, middle, index, ring, and do that over and over. Then work the second half. Middle, ring, index, middle, middle, ring, index, middle. You have to do two little middle plugs to do that one back to back. So, thumb, middle, index, ring, middle, ring, index, middle. P, M, I, A, M, A, I, M. Kind of work that up a little bit faster when you can. That's what that sounds like. Now, with this one, when there's two chords per measure, you could use this first half of the pattern twice. So the thumb, middle, index, ring, switch chords and do thumb, middle, index, ring again. But an alternate option that actually I think sounds even better and is really great is to plug in the thumb instead of the middle. So put the P in there for the second half. So for the second half, you would have thumb, ring, index, middle, thumb, ring, index, middle. by themselves. This, those are two halves that are great with the thumb pluck. Thumb, middle, index, ring, thumb, ring, middle, index. You want to practice that back and forth too. Thumb, middle, index, ring, thumb, ring, index, middle. P, M, I, A, P, A, I, M. P, M, I, A, P, A, I, M. So you can work those two halves. And that actually would work well as a finger picking pattern in and of itself. So you could do that as a finger picking pattern in and of itself. But for us, we're going to do that one just when we have two chords per measure. And do the thing, the full thing is written without the extra thumb pluck when there's one chord per measure. 
but you can do it both ways and actually for you if trying to get that second thumb pluck in is too much then just use this first half of the pattern twice okay let's take a look at the chord progression that we're going to plug this into then in this lesson we're using the song kumbaya so this is the chord progression for kumbaya down in the description below there's a link where you can download a free copy of this sheet music in pdf form so i recommend you do that it's easier to actually read the sheet music than read what i've got up here on the board but the chord progression is going to have one time on G. Then we have half a measure on G and half a measure on C. So with this, we're going to have... And then we do thumb, middle, index, ring. And then if you're up for it, thumb, ring, index, middle. So that's how we would go back and forth between those two chords. And you might want to practice that with G and C. Then we've got four measures of G, two measures of D7, one measure of G, and then we have to do that G to C again. To one measure of G, and we do that G to C again, and we go G to D7. So we actually get to do that with D7 as well. Okay, let's go ahead and try playing this pattern with this chord progression. We'll go about there. One and two and ready and go and... lessons we'll go ahead and play the melody for this song and sing along this is a great way to get that melody in our ear help us learn to sing it it's also good to work on our melodic playing ability with our right and left hands so I'm just gonna pluck the melody by alternating index and middle which is one of the places I recommend that you start when doing that sometimes you can just use your thumb or work in your thumb when we get on the lower strings but this melody stays on the top three strings so this is a really great melody just to practice alternating index and middle if you haven't done that before are going to do that again. Now, if you need help learning how to read tablature or standard music notation, so you can read this melody, the method books can help you out with that. There's one on note reading. There's actually three on note reading. Books one and two is together, reads in first position, which is where you would start, and then book three reads up the neck. But there's also the tablature book, which helps you. There's 200 different songs that are progressively harder, helps you learn to play melodies reading tablature. So there's options out there. There's also quick answer videos that can get you started, so you could just jump right in on that tablature here with this with these videos right here with this sheet music. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. I'll give us one, two, and we'll be with Kumbaya, my Lord. You can plant your thumb on one of the lower strings to help hold your index and middle in place. We we'll just keep alternating index and middle regardless of what string the note is on. So you got red T and one, two, Okay, here we go. We'll put, we'll put the chords and the melody together. Kind of want to get that finger picking pattern going. Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. 
like that. It's a great pattern, a great song. I hope you're having so much fun playing the guitar. This pattern will work with any song that's in 4-4 time that you want sort of that just awesome sort of arpeggiated chord sound. It works really great with those. In the next lesson we're going to do the same type of thing. It'll be a different pattern. It'll be a pattern for 3-4 time, but it'll work on the independence of the fingers and we'll do a great pattern for 3-4 time. Keep having fun. We'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.